Good morning, students. Welcome to our maths class. We were in the chapter Ratio and Proportion, exercise 6A, page number 80. All of you open your maths textbook, page number 80, 13th question. Now, in the 13th question, there are two bits given. Those we have to find as they have asked the ratio. Let us see. In the question 13, they have given weight of a metal of an alloy. The weight of an alloy of metals. Alloy is the mixture. Alloy is nothing but mixture of metals available in the earth. When we dig the earth, we will get some metals. Iron, zinc and all those. So those metals are available in a mixture. A mixed condition. Two, three metals were mixed in one condition. Those are that mixed part is called as an alloy. That only given weight of an alloy of metals 10 grams. 10 grams can be written as 10.0 grams. In that two metals are there, it is metal A and metal B. Weight of metal A, A is the name of metal. Weight of this metal A given as 7.5 grams 7.5 grams then they said us to find the weight of metal B metal B weight with a subtraction we will get from 10 we have to subtract 7.5 then the subtraction gives you 2.5 that is weight of metal B 2.5 grams because the total weight of both the metals called alloy here that is 10 grams in that 7.5 grams is metal A, weight of metal A. The remaining with subtraction we got 2.5, that is the weight of metal B. Okay, now, then they said in the first bit, ratio of the weights of metals A and B. A metal weight is 7.5 is to metal B weight is 2.5. So 7.5 is to 2.5. This is 7.5 by 2.5 because ratio can be written in the form of fraction. We said already. So 7.5 changed as 75 by 10 in the numerator itself by 2.5 changed as 25 by 10. We know that in the numerator point is there after one digit to remove that point which is after one digit we have to place uh, 10 uh, with uh, that is 10 is having one time zero in it then the point which is after one digit can be removed that's what 7.5 changed as 75 by 10 same way 2.5 changed as 25 by 10 am i correct so 75 by 10 is written into 25 by 10 uh, changed to its reciprocal 10 by 25 10 and 10 gets cancelled, 10 ones and 10 ones. Afterwards with the 5 table, 5 fives are 25, 5 15 is 75. Again 5 table, 5 ones are 5, 5 threes are 15. 3 ones 3 by 1 ones are is 1. 3 by 1 written as 3 is to 1. This is the ratio for the weights of metals A and B. Okay, that is the first bit to answer in the 13th question. Let us see second bit. Ratio of the weights of metal B and an alloy. Metal B weight to 2.5 is to alloy weight is 10. So 2.5 by 10 can be written as 2.5 changed as 25 by 10 whole by Denominator 10 as it is, but no denominator is there for the denominator part two. So that 10 by 1 is written because in the next step that should be changed to its reciprocal. That's why I have written in the denominator 1 here. Okay now. This 25 by 10 as it is into 10 by 1 changed as 1 by 10. 5 table we can use 5 twos are 10, 5 fives 25. Am I correct? Okay. Then again 5 table, 5 1's 5, 
5 twos are 10. Am I correct, students? Then numerators are 1 and 1. 1 ones, 1 by 2 twos are 4. 1 by 4 can be written as 1 is to 4. Now, first answer 3 is to 1. Second answer 1 is to 4. Just to find the ratio of the weights for the given questions. For that, oh, decimals are there and we can remove the decimal point as we have said. Finally, cancellation and we got the answer. I hope this is very easy for you because this type of sums are already completed for us. Okay, now students, shall we go for 14th question? In the same page number 80, let us see question number 14. Here, two people are given person A and person B. Age of the person A is given as 6 years and 8 months. In one year, there are 12 months. In one year, how many months are there? 12 months. So, 6 years means 6 into 12 months in the bracket to find the number of months for 6 years. Plus, that 8 months, 6 12 are 72. 72 plus 8, 80 months. So, Years of the person A changed to the months that is 80 months. Am I correct? Same way, years of the person B they said 7 years 4 months. As we said earlier, in 1 year 12 months, here 7 years means 7 into 12 months. Am I correct? Plus that 4 months. 7 12 are 84. 84 plus 4, 88 months. There are 80 months, here are 88 months. Now we need to find the ratio. Why? Because they said uh, some money is going to be given to the hand of those and we, they should uh, get the shares according to the ratio of their ages. That's why we have to find ratio. Ratio of the ages of the person A and uh, person B is equal to 80 is to 88. 80 is to 88. There is a common table, 8 table. 8 10 jar 80. 8 11 jar 88. 10 and 11 we have got. No more common table is there for them to cancel again. So 10 is to 11 will be the ratio of the ages of those two people. A and B. Order is also needed. First A, then B. Okay now. Money to be divided in the above ratio. I have told you already some money is going to be given to be divided based on the ratio of their ages we said. Is it clear? That only written money to be divided in the above ratio. What is the money to be divided in the above ratio? 3150 rupees that should be shared between the two people A and B. That too in the ratio of their ages. Okay now, that sum of the parts of the ratio, whenever money is to be divided, then we need to find sum of the parts of the ratio. Already 10 is to 11 we got. Now sum of the parts of the ratio, 10 plus 11 is equal to 21. Then now, share of the first person, that is A, is equal to 10 is the first person, that is person A by Total parts are 21 into the total money 3150 rupees. Okay, now students, this type of sums we have done already now. Once again, we have got it. Now, seventh table I have used first first. 7 3s are 21. Am I correct? Again, now 7 4s are 28 filled in the 31. Then 3 left to side 5, 35. 7 5s are 35 and last 0 as it is dropped. Okay now, afterwards with the 3 table, 3 1s 3, 3 15s 45 and 0. Only 150 we have got. Here is a 10 is left. Both values are numerators only. We cannot cancel them. Denominator only 1 is left. So 10 into 150 gives you 1500 rupees that is the share of the first person A. Okay now, then share of the second person B is equal to 
11. 11 is the second person to share. So, 11 by total parts are 21 into the total money is 3150 rupees. Now, 7th table as we have done previously. When we cancel, we got 150 there. Here also 150. Because 21 only denominator in both the cases. So, cancellation is same only. Am I correct? Now, 11 and 150 if we multiply, we will get an answer called 1650 rupees. That is the share of the person B. Share of the person A is 1500 rupees. Person B share is 1650 rupees. If at all both the shares are added in the rough notes or in the rough part, you will get to total money that is divided between them called 3150 rupees we will get. I hope this sum also very clear because many sums of the same model we have completed already. Is it working, okay, students? So with the other part of teaching, we will meet in the next class. So you have to check these things and write in your maths classwork notebook with the help of the photo which I am going to send to you. Okay, students? Thank you.